this particular um, session is called errors. There are three kinds of errors. Do, 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 do. There are, I got to find, there we go. There are syntax errors. Let me show you a syntax error. Here's my test one, F5. Press OK. Ignore that one here. There's an error in your program. Notice it says syntax error. And look at this. It highlights part of the line. Now, the real error, even though it highlights here, is up above it. And the thing is, is when it sees a parenthesis, it's waiting for a closed one. So it, it sees this, and it sees this, and it thinks somehow this must be part of it. But as soon as it sees a colon, it goes, wait a minute, there's no way a colon belongs in this input function. So the real error is there. So anytime you try to run a program and it doesn't even let you start running it before it gives you an error. So here's an, another example of a syntax error. Bam. And, and of course, it, it's very nice because it tells you it's a syntax error. So that's always good. All right. And then, okay, that's a syntax error. Okay, syntax error, easy to deal with. You can't do anything without it. Other times, you might have a problem in your program and you don't realize it until it's running. So let's run this program. Okay. So I'm going to show you the shell because it's the shell that shows it. Whoa. Hey, get back there. How old are you? Well, let's put like 45. Uh-oh. You see this trace back, blah, blah, blah. Okay, this is a runtime error. And a runtime error is it's something triggers an error and it causes your program to stop halt. And what it does is when it happens, it gives you some information to try to help you out to figure out what happened. And, and it says trace back. And so what it does is it goes backwards. It, once it triggered an error, it might show you uh, one or more lines of code where there are problems. And so it says trace back. And it just says the most recent call is last. So you usually want to focus on the last one. And it'll even tell you what file it was running, what line caused it to choke. And it's line six. It even shows you the code. So there's a hint there. It even tells you what kind of error you have. In this case, it's a name error. And a name error has to do with variables. And it says name ages is not defined. Well, what is ages? Oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait. Let's look at our code. It's line six. Where's line six? How do we know it's line six? Well, in Python, hold on a second. In your editor, it actually tells you on the right-hand bottom corner, down at the bottom, it says it's line six, column 12. If you just look at your, co your program, hopefully you realize, oh, ages shouldn't have been plural. Okay. So with a, with a runtime error, you, you got to make sure there's no runtime errors. But the problem is, is you may have runtime errors, or you may have fixed all your runtime errors, and yet you may still have a problem. Okay, and the problem we did earlier was this idea of what if they were all if statements. Okay, now this kind of an error is, whoa, if, there we go. This kind of an error, this won't cause a syntax error. There's no problem with the syntax. We, we put all the right parentheses where we need to go. We put the colons where they need to be. Things that are indented are indented. And we're, doing, we're following all the rules. Okay. If we run it, it won't trigger an actual error. It'll actually run all the way through under every circumstance. You'll have to trust me on that. And if you put down, for example, 5... It'll say you're a young, and that looks good. Okay, so it seems like the program's working right. We run it again, and then we put down 18. Says you're a teen. Oh, that seems to work okay. Then we run it, and somehow, if we're smart, we'll test it at the age of. Oops, wrong program. Wrong one. This no. Ah, get out of there. Mm -hmm. This is what happens when you do too much technology. This time we run 88, and now all of a sudden it, whoa, wait a minute, hey, this isn't what I wanted it to do. This is called a logic error. A logic error is the kind of error where it's just, your program is actually correct, and it's doing exactly what you told it to do. You just didn't realize that's what it meant to do. And now, without further ado, 
I'm going to show you my favorite logic error I've ever created. And I got to tell you a little story. I was writing a program once using object oriented programming. It was late in the term. We've done a lot of pretty fancy stuff here. Okay. And let me get the recent file. I was creating a pirate program. I wanted to create one using ob I wanted to create objects. I wanted to create a program that could create pirate ships. I wanted a program that would also be able to have um, pirates on your ship. You could hire pirates. You could raid other ships. And if a pirate died, it would actually indicate they died. So I was testing it out. I went to run the program. Okay. And here, let me just get this over here. Okay. Oh, we lost out. I thought I had more time. That stupid clock. I guess you're going to have to wait on that one. Programming 2, you better make sure you got your stuff in. Okay. So anyway, I got to gotta tell you the story about my virtual pirate program. Uh, we went ahead and I ran it. Okay. So here's the program. Here's what it looks like at the beginning. And you see some uh, you see some options here. Uh, you see it's a pirate ship caretaker. We're taking care of a pirate ship. We can quit, and then we're done. We can recruit a crew, so we can add to our crew. I thought that would be a great thing for a pirate game. And we want to be able to get stats on our pirates. And then I thought, well, let's kill off a crew member. I just needed to test that out, and then we'll raid a ship. So as I'm doing this program and I'm explaining it to the students, here I go, I run the program, and I decide I'm going to recruit a crew. So it says, how many pirates do you want to recruit? I choose three. And what be the name of your pirate? So I thought, okay, well, let's put down um, let's put down some students here. So I put down, you know, maybe it was Connor was one. And maybe Christina was another. And then um, Zach. So let's just say I did three students, okay, and I hit enter. And what it does, okay, you can see here each time, since Avashi made, he's a new pirate has come aboard. And Connor starts the journey with nothing. He's a pirate. Of course, he starts off just as a as a, uh, uh, a bilge rat or something like that. Anyways, he's on the ship. They have nothing. Okay, we go from here. Okay, now the, the next step I was about to demonstrate was number three, kill a crew member. And I realized, oh, I can't do that. I just, I just hired a bunch of students. There's no way it would be such bad taste. So I decide instead, let's just recruit another group of crew members. Let's add three more. And people we wouldn't really feel so bad about that we could kill off. And I was thinking, uh, oh, let's put like Dr. Phil and some others. So I put three. Let's put like Dr. Phil. And then, you know, and then I thought, you know, um, who was the other uh, pirate? Um, um, what's her name? Oh, let's just say Oprah. Oprah Winfrey. Uh, and then, okay, and then at this point I thought, let's have Chuck Norris do some of the some of the violence here. So I add Chuck Norris, and I hit enter. This is our third pirate, and this is where I finally triggered my logic error. I had no idea what's hiding here, and the logic error is don't hire Chuck Norris. Because as soon as Chuck Norris starts the journey with nothing, uh-oh, I see the cold hand of death. I'm going, going, going. Zach is no more. I couldn't believe it. Chuck Norris just took Zach out. Then he went for Christina and then Connor. She took them all out. So sad. Okay, that is a great example of a logic error. It ran exactly the way I told it to run. I just didn't realize how it was supposed to run. I did, and I created a logic error. That was not what I intended to do by any stretch of the imagination. Um, I really wanted to have it where I could, you know, test other things out. So you do pirate stats, and of course I didn't finish the rest at that point. I just had to uh, stop. Uh, I eventually fixed the program, and so we're okay. And when I quit, all of a sudden I saw it going again. Suddenly it killed off the rest of the crewmates. So apparently quitting the game just kills all your pirates. Again, also not intended. One of my other logic errors.